Well, welcome everyone. I'm County Executive Joe Parisi uh, here with the Madison Mayor Satcher Roads Conway to announce our latest Clean Beach Corridor. What is a Clean Beach Corridor, you may ask? If you look at the beach right, right to the side of us here, you see a little curtain around the water surrounding the beach. And what you don't see, well, you do see the clean water coming out, but we have a system um, that we partnered on, on, on installing that takes the water out, runs it through a filtration system, and then puts cleaner water back in there. And this has been especially effective at keeping beaches clean and open for people, even during times of beach closures. So we look at a couple of the other projects we've done, we've seen anywhere from a 75 to up to a 90% reduction in the days of beat the beach being closed because the system works so well. Now, as you all know, we have ongoing work um, to clean up our lakes. We have partnerships with our farmers to help them implement processes to reduce runoff. We in, were involved in prairie and wetland restoration and a number of other efforts to clean up our lakes and, and, and deal with the, the root causes of the challenges we face, mainly from algae growth. In the meantime, we want to do everything possible to help people and families enjoy the beaches that we have now. One of the great things about these clean beach corridors is that they allow people to come and swim in our lakes, to feel safe, they're free, they have allow families a place to come and enjoy themselves that you don't have to pay for. Um, it's what our lakes are meant to be used for. So we're really excited about this. This is actually the Madison area's fourth Clean Beach Corridor. The first one was done by the City of Madison at Bernie's Beach, and the last three have been county projects, um, one in McFarland, one in Middleton, and then this partnership um, with the city. Uh, the county made the main investment in the equipment, the city provided a building, and the city's going to be paying for the ongoing um, maintenance of the system. So it's great to be able to have a partnership like this because we can accomplish so much um, for folks. And the next partnership, the next piece of this partnership is scheduled for 2024 um, at Tenney Beach. So stay tuned. Um, the partnership with the city um, is, is a model that we want to be able to use moving forward. And I'm so grateful to the mayor and to members of, of the Common Council for working with us together because we can achieve so much more together um, than we can, can apart. So we want to make sure that everyone knows about this clean beach system and the other ones have people come on down and enjoy the weather. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful way to kick off um, summertime. So I think I'll turn it over to the mayor right now and then we're happy to take questions. Thank you, County Executive. Thanks everybody for joining us. I want to particularly thank Alder Charles Miadze um, for standing with us today. We're in his district uh, up here on the north side. Um, and we could not have found a more beautiful day to be celebrating increased access to our lakes. Um, so looking forward to summer uh, and we really are grateful for this partnership with the county uh, where we, it, which allows us to work together to improve our beaches so that families can enjoy clean water and summer fun. This Clean Beach Initiative provides safe, affordable, and equitable access to the lakes in City of Madison Parks. Uh, as you heard, the system filters the water from an enclosed swim area. It allows, us, it allows that water to be safe and clean in almost all conditions and will reduce beach closures due to contamination. Um, you can see the system uh, behind us, and we have some technical folks here that can give you the details of it if you're interested. Um, but the, the really, I think, amazing thing about these clean beach corridors is how they can fend off algae even in peak periods of nearby blooms, which makes it sure that families can have a safe place, a free place to go swimming, even in the height of summer. Um, I'm really grateful to the county executive for bringing this partnership to us and for making this possible. Um, we are excited to be a part of this and to be maintaining the system. Uh, and I'm really proud that you can see on our other side our Green Power crew who is, as we speak, installing a solar system um, that will cover the majority of the electricity of running this clean beach system.
um, right here off of that roof uh, that is right here at the beach. So very excited to be able to do this with renewable energy. Uh, very excited this is yet another project that our green power team uh, can learn on. So these are our green power apprentices. They're learning to install solar energy across uh, city buildings um, and they will be ready then to go on uh, into a career in the solar industry or to continue to work right here for the City of Madison Public Works. So we're delighted that we could combine these projects. Um, as the county exec mentioned, our next uh, system will be at Tenney Beach. Um, and we're looking forward to continuing the collaboration and making sure that we have safe, accessible, equitable places for families to enjoy our lakes all across the city of Madison. So thanks again for being here. And I think uh, we have some staff on hand to answer technical questions if you have them. And both the county exec and I would be happy to take questions as well. Any questions? So we're looking at um, construction in 23 and opening in 24. Any other questions? Yep. You know, it's one of the beautiful things, well, it, the technical folks can answer this, but let me take a, a stab at it. One of the beautiful things is that it's actually blocking things from outside the barrier from getting inside the barrier. So what you've got on the inside is clean water. There's we there's the buoys that are out there. There's a curtain that goes down yep. that, that you don't see. Yeah. And I invite everybody to go take a closer look at this. I mean, you could go swimming. <laughs> it's warm enough for that. <laughs> or take a wade in and check it out the check out the system. Any other questions? Yep, so there's a curtain that goes down and then there's a system that pumps the water out of that area, cleans it out and brings it back in. All right. Yeah, in McFarland, what's the name of the park there, John? Goodland Beach and then Mendota County Park in Middleton. And then the other is at Bernie's Beach in Madison. And the person I was asking is John Reimer, who doesn't like getting attention put on him, but I will tell you, he's the, the guy who invented this system. So it's all because of him, and we couldn't be more proud. He's worked for the city and now the county. Um, so just another one of our like incredibly talented staff people behind the scenes who I like to point out and embarrass him a little bit in front of everyone. But he, he deserves some gratitude, too. We're really John proud. John did, yeah. Yeah. How so. Do you want to comment, Come John? On up, or? John. Yeah, so my name's uh, John Reimer, and yeah, we developed this system. And when I say we, at, at the time I was at, uh, like Executive mentioned, at the city of Madison, um, and that was about 2012 or so, um, was when we first developed it, um, went through literature review, found out how can we really improve beach closings. And at the time, you know, we wanted to try something new. And we kept developing over the years. So really what we see now is, is 10 years of, of development of, of this latest one. So we've learned a lot of, of how the system works and, and keep improving it. So that's what we hope to keep doing as we, as we keep moving this forward. So it's great, you know, the leadership um, with the mayor and, and the executive to allow us to keep, keep developing this and keep learning and keep improving and, and making our water, water cleaner and safer for all. Um, well, um, how do we decide on which beaches? Um, um, well, that's kind of in collaboration with, with the city. I, I can't speak to all those details, but this one here, you know, got a new building and new, new bathhouse, which, you know, is a, is a great setting for this system where um, there's showers outside and, and great amenities here. Um, other places, you know, the buildings and, and um, Eric Knepp here with, with City Parks is here as well. He probably has more information than I do, but we also look at beach closing data so look at how many closings we got. And, and usually when we have closings, it's due to blue-green algae or um, E. coli bacteria. So look at those beaches that are fouled a lot by, um, by closings. Yeah, I can speak to that a little bit too. Um, in, in choosing uh, Warner Beach, uh, 
certainly we take into account you know beach closings and we also took into account the fact that we were getting ready to redo the shelter anyway um, but mostly we took into to account the fact that we really wanted to use an equity lens in choosing where to put this opportunity for families to swim. So we really wanted to focus on the north side and make sure that north side families have a free opportunity to go swimming that will be safe all summer long. Um, and so we're going to continue to look through that lens as we look around the city and balance the question of, of closures and safety with equity uh, as we continue to choose future beaches. And I'm sure the county exec will take into similar factors as you move around the county. And why specifically north side families? Well, the north side, having represented District 12 for six years, um, is a little bit more diverse, a little bit uh, uh, more likely to have families, um, more likely to have multifamily housing than some of our other neighborhoods. And so we wanted to make sure that those kids really had recreational opportunities all summer long. Any other questions? Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all so much for coming. I encourage you to, to check out the system, to check out the solar panels. And uh, if you want to talk to any of us individually or any of the staff, just let us know. Thank you. Thanks. All right, thank you. Thanks for being here. Let's go take a look at it.